this is one of the more requested castles I've been asked to do. It is the strongest of the wolf castles. For most players, it will take multiple attacks to remove this beast of a castle. The attack that I'm going to demonstrate in this video was pioneered by a World 1 player named Kopchenny. Now, he in turn was inspired by a friend of his in the Russian world, and he basically took the design that his friend had and improved it. The important thing to note about the formation that I'm going to be using here is I modified it slightly from the one that Kopchenny used. This is mostly because I couldn't figure out exactly everything he did based off of a lower resolution picture that he sent me of this castle. Now a very important aspect to this layout is the fact that the stone walls on the left side of the castle, they reach all the way to the Great Tower as opposed to on the right side where they don't. I don't know if you can see it here, but there are about two spaces in between the wall and the actual tower. And this can really mean the difference between defeat and victory for this attack set up here. Because if you have too many archers on the left side, the knights that exit from the keep will go to the right side. And if they go to the right side, there is no wall right here to force them into this archer formation as opposed to the left side. That is why it's important that you make sure that you have more archers on the right side than the left side. So let's get rid of the archers, and then I'm going to move on to the catapults. I, I don't know if you notice here, but there are a few archers right in the back, right in front of the pikemen, but behind the catapults. This is in case any of the knights get through. These archers will most likely take care of it. Okay, now the pikemen, before we move on to the catapults, the pikemen are just basically all grouped here in the back behind the catapult. So it really isn't anything special about how they're placed. They just, they're stuck back there. There are 180 pikemen and 200 archers. Now most important of all are the catapults. And the number of catapults used in this attack is 120, which is a bit more than probably what you're used to, although in older worlds especially, 120 is the staple attack for basically breaking open castles. The first two rows of catapults all target this middle tower right here, right at these, the white line of the castle. The third row targets the tower directly behind that middle tower. So basically you have all the ones, all the catapults here in the third row. They're all attacking, at, uh, targeted at that tower. The catapults in the first and second row, all targeted at that first tower. And the final rows are all targeted towards the keep. Now, the important thing to remember here is if you do not remove these pikemen in the keep with the catapults, you're going to fail at this attack. There is simply too much concentrated archer fire from the wolf's archers to actually have your pikemen successfully remove the pikemen that are in the keep. If you cannot remove those pikemen with your catapults, the attack is doomed to fail. It manually target each one of these catapults and each one of them is targeted as close to the keep as I could get it. I hope that allows you to set this attack up. As you can see, the knights exited from the left side. This means that they won't be able to get through the wall there and attack the catapults. So that was successful. So all the towers are down now that are in front of the keep. Now it's up to the catapults to actually remove those pikemen inside the keep. If they can't remove them, this attack will fail like I mentioned before. And that was the problem that I initially had with this castle. I didn't have the 
catapults, enough of them targeted at the keep. I was focused more on removing the two towers on either side than I was on removing the units inside the keep. And that's why it took me a bit longer to actually make this attack work. But once I got it, I haven't had it fail yet. So there you have it. Out of the original 200 archers, only two are remaining. Out of the original 180 pikemen, 45 remain. And out of the original 120 catapults, 37 remain. This isn't exactly the best setup when it comes to uh, the amount of gold you have to spend on the attack. It is cheaper to first, you know, beforehand to go ahead and send 400 archers to clear the walls off. Even 200 archers helps. But the idea behind this attack was it's one attack that can remove an entire castle. So it is useful in that sense where you can basically use just one village to remove the hardest wolf castle. Now you'll notice I didn't get any honor for it. This is not because it was in my honor circle but because I used the county to attack this wolf castle. If you can do it in two attacks it's probably going to be a little bit cheaper than spending so many catapults on it but either way this is a triumph in Wolf Castle attacking technology. The layout that Cop Chenny here presented me with was the perfect setup needed to remove this castle. Now I know some players are big fans of using captains in the attacks. I'm personally against this because when you have 40 villages, those captains cost a pretty penny. I will buy captains if my villages are under imminent threat of being attacked. But I'm not going to stock five captains per village with 40 villages. That is insane. And yeah, let's say I use two captains for this attack. I put one on delay and I have the other one set for an archer volley. It would be easier because I can clear out the keep with the archer volley captain while using the second captain to hold the first one back to keep them from getting killed. One thing to keep in mind about removing the archers on the outside towers is it could have a negative effect on how well protected your catapults are because the way this attack works currently you know the enemy archers on those edge towers are actually holding our archers in place to make sure the knights can't get through if our archers can move in because there are no enemy archers on the towers all of a sudden the knights possibly can get around behind them it's not guaranteed but i haven't tried this yet so i want you to be aware of the possibility that making changes such as that can have to this or the overall success of this design. Well, I hope that covered everything that people might be interested in. If I left out something, please let me know in the comments below this video. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Stronghold Kingdoms. The battle has just begun.